week after the GP of Germany and uh, unfortunately it brought a broken femur for Shannon Terreblanche but as we said it's only a week thereafter and he's already in Marpola watching the motocross again. Uh, Shannon uh, tell us how did the injury happen and what happened afterwards? Um, yeah everything was going really good before before the crash you know and um, in the it was in the second motor in the first lap I got a really bad start I was about 25 I think and um, I came back to 15th, I think, in the first lap, and like three quarters of the way through the lap, just before the pit area, there were like three singles and then a tabletop, but it was really dusty. There wasn't much water down, you know? And when we were all going through there together, um, I couldn't really see where I was going, so I was taking it easy, but coming up to the tabletop, there were some deep ruts, and I got cross rider going up the face, and I crashed probably just a meter onto the jump, you know? But because we were all together, um, yeah, the guys couldn't stop in time. And I think um, about two or three guys landed on me. And yeah, I broke my leg. But it was, it was like a big disappointment for me. But um, I've been, it's been getting better and better all the time. And um, I've got my head around it now, you know, and like I'm ready to do everything that that I need to do to try and get back and to be strong when I come back. I'm not just going to, um, when I come back I want to be at the same place where I was or even better, you know, I don't want to come back like half hearted you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, of course uh, you were operated on in, in Germany uh, right after the GP on Sunday night and on Monday we heard they already let you stand up in the hospital and, and let you walk around and uh, of course on, on Tuesday you were released uh, home by midweek already. And, and as we said, uh, you know, you took it easy today at the race, but you've come to the racing uh, again. Uh, how's the leg feeling now? Do you feel that it's hitting already and it's uh, it's recovering? Um, it's still really sore, you know, but I figured that, like, I don't want to just um, lie, lie on the bed all day, you know. It's, I need to get out and try and, like, not, not do too much, but just to try and do something, you know, and, um, yeah. The, the hospital, the people at the hospital thought um, that I should stay in hospital normally for about 10 days. But um, the first day after the operation, I felt a bit sick from from the anesthetic and stuff. So I couldn't really walk them because I was I felt like I needed to vomit all the time, you know. But um, on the second day, I wasn't supposed to even go out because some people were visiting me and they asked the nurses if I could go with. Um, with a with a wheelchair outside and like just get some fresh air you know and the nurse said um, minimum three days until i can go out you know and i was, i went and did some training on crutches because they were like teaching me how to walk on crutches and stuff and um the doctor saw that i was going really good with the crutches and he said then that i can go outside you know and i went all around the, the hospital garden you know all around and it was nice to get out for a change you know I mean, it's depressing lying in the hospital for, lying on the bed for like the whole day, you know, doing nothing. And um, yeah, normally we, I like to get out and do something, so it was good. Right now, the great pity about this, of course, apart from the injury itself, is um, you've been doing really well, especially in your national championships, the, the Dutch championship where you're lying seventh, and the Belgian championship where you're lying second, and also in the GPs uh, where you were lying uh, 26th at the time that this happened. Uh, how will this affect your, your point standings, do you think, in the championship? Um, I think, I'm hoping that I can come back for the, for the last three, I think it's three, the last three Dutch championships. Um, I think by then I should be fit enough to, to be where I should be, you know. And um, I hope I can still get higher maybe in the, in the Dutch championship, you know. The points are, are pretty close between, I mean, I'm actually in <laughs> sixth place now, you know. And, um, from me to third is pretty close, you know. So I hope I can, I can get fit and, and jump a few places up there. But um, I think in the Belgian Championship, I'll be, I'll be quite. I won't be able to catch up anymore. I think I'll be, I'll lose a lot of places there, you know. And in the Grand Prix, for sure, I want to be high in the championship. But um, I was more looking at race results, you know, to try and just improve myself each GP. And it's the GPs are really difficult, you know. So just to, to get better and better all the time is, is the goal, you know, so 
I'm hoping just to to come back. Maybe maybe I can ride the the last GP or the like the last two GPs, and hopefully I'll be good by then, and I can I can do pretty good. You know? Yeah. Now, of course, we don't know how long your convalescence will be exactly. Uh, we're still waiting for for Dr. Klaas, who's uh, who's uh, handling the injury over here in Belgium, to to give a final determination. Uh, but have you had any indication about how soon you'll be ready to train again or, or to start convales uh, convalescence or, or fitness training? Um, the doctors in Germany said probably, he was telling my dad that I could maybe be back in like six weeks, you know. But the doctor doesn't know about motocross, you know. And um, yeah, I came back to Belgium and went to Dr. Klaas and he told me that I'll probably be back in like, I could come back to him for more x-rays in I think six weeks he said and um, then I can start cycling like on my own level you know like just how my feeling is you know what I mean and um, then I hope I can build my fitness up again you know and like I said I'm not just gonna come back when I'm not fit enough or something you know I want to be feeling good on the bike and my fitness must be where where it should be you know for, for me to come back all right, well, uh, Shannon, best of luck, and we hope to see you back on the track uh, really soon and definitely this year's time. Thanks a lot.